Hey guys, so tonight for dinner we're gonna make low carb salsa. I don't know what it's called. It's called um low carb oh I was right actually. It's low carb salsa verde chicken casserole. Um I got this from a website called I Save A to Z. Um and have my little alley show mode device over here helping me out with the recipe. Um so it's really simple. I'll show you the ingredients really quick. So you've got Two cups of shredded chicken, which I just made myself in the crock pot. Um, I used a little bit of chicken salt because um, I didn't have any uh, bouillon cubes or broth to go with it. Um, so I just did that with water and a little bit of butter. Uh, you're also going to need one cup of sour cream. You need eight ounces of uh, softened cream cheese. You will need some salsa verde, as the name suggests. You need some minced garlic. Um, paprika, ground cumin, um, I salt and pepper everything. It's not actually in the recipe, but that's just how I roll. Oh, and you also need some cauliflower, and it definitely suggests steaming the bag cauliflower. So I went for that for ease of use. Uh, okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to scroll up and get to the actual directions of the recipe. It's one of those, you know, you have to scroll forever because you have to hear about her dog and the fall leaves and all that stuff, so... <laughs> whatever. All right, so we are going to start by putting in our cauliflower that has been heated. I did that off camera. And just speaking of heating, we also need to uh, preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So that's already rocking and rolling in the background too. It is hot. <laughs> All right, so we've got our steamed cauliflower. We steamed it. It's nice and steamy and it's soft. And then to that, we are going to add most of our ingredients over here. Um, so we're going to add the sour cream. That is one cup of sour cream. Generously get that out of there because uh, I like sour cream and I need it all. <laughs> all right, we've got one cup of sour cream. We're going to add in our cream cheese. Just here. Let's just get that. At room temperature? It is room temperature. It is softened, if you will. Get most of that out of the bowl, too. Uh, and then we're going to add in our salsa, which I did not pre measure, even though I took out a measuring cup for it. Because <laughs> I'm a klutz. All right, so this calls for a cup and a half. So that's one whole one cup. <laughs> this is one whole cup, for those of you following along at home. And I actually will be super scientific about this, if I can, and find you the half cup measurement, which I think is, that's a three-quarter cup. Eh. This might not actually work out. That's a third cup. You got a quarter cup? Why don't I have any cups in here? I'm like the queen of buying measuring cups. And I can never find what I'm looking for. It's like always having a left foot sock. Like, I literally buy a hundred of these a year. All right, and then here's another half cup. One and a half cups. For those math people at home, she could have done one half full cup. That's, that, what? No. Nobody's listening to you. <laughs> you don't even make sense. I make dollars. No. <laughs> All right. We got that. We're going to add in some cheese. So these is, I think it's two cups of cheese total, but we're putting in one cup right now, and the other cup comes in later. Topping? Yeah. And don't get surprised if I add in more cheese than it tells me to. Um, oh, that garlic smells really good. So now we need to add some paprika. We need, how much paprika did I say we needed? We need one teaspoon of paprika. So this is one teaspoon. That is hard to dip in here. What See? is that measuring device you're using? It's nifty because it like lets you just kind of slide it to change how much you're getting. So it's like all the measuring cups in one? Yeah, you can see it slides. 
So there's half a teaspoon. There's one teaspoon, one and a half. And then there's one tablespoon up there. So of course you bring this out when you start cooking. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's not hiding. It was in the drawer with all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you don't know how to look with your eyes. Guess I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> I guess you should have asked. This is going to get a little loosey-goosey because I can't really get it in the thing. So as cool as it is, it's not really made to fit into your spice jars. All right, there's some cumin. It's also a teaspoon of cumin. And then this calls for a little bit less garlic. I want to say it was half a teaspoon of minced garlic, which is kind of chintzy, but okay. I'm probably going to use a spoon to get this out. Because I don't want to put this powdered stuff in the garlic. Right? Sounds reasonable. Yep, that's about right. Right <laughs> there. Because I want to be precise. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Super scientific. Good job. I am a scientist. I'm a nutrition scientist, and that was how you do that. I see that. <clears throat> that's my pro tip for you. That's how you get that done. So now, did I forget anything? Got the cheese. Okay, I didn't forget anything. So now we're just supposed to mix this all together. Oh, you know what I forgot? Hmm. Oh, no. Actually, no, I didn't. I didn't forget anything. I'm good. We gotta mix this all up. Yum. Looks almost as good as my bacon sushi. Uh, I'll be honest, this uh, color profile doesn't look the best. <laughs> but it smells really good, and we haven't even cooked it yet. Chicken and coffee are already cooked. Well, I mean, but like, you know, we haven't like congealed it together yet. I got you. We really need a bigger bowl than this. Mm. This reminds me of that other recipe that I make all the time, the the cauliflower with like the bacon and ranch and cheese. Oh, your cauliflower macaroni? No, not the macaroni. It's like a casserole, but it's like bacon, ranch, and cheese with cauliflower. Mm. I don't know. It's really good. But this is like the same concept. All right. So we mix that up mostly. And then we're supposed to add, <laughs> we're supposed to add the chicken to this, but the bowl is really full. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the casserole dish and then I'm gonna put the chicken in there. Um, it's yeah. heavy. You okay there? Yeah, it's really heavy. I thought I could be slick with like one hand maneuver and it was just too heavy for that. All right. Get that stuff in there. That's what she said. I don't, I mean, what? What? I don't know if that was necessary. All right, so this is supposedly two cups of chicken. I feel like I might want more chicken. This doesn't feel very chicken-y. So the I good think. news is, is we had extra chicken from the crock pot. Yeah, this doesn't feel very chickeny. Let's just add some more chicken. Approximately that much. <laughs> well, chicken never hurt nobody. Mm-hmm. Should we add a little bit more? It's up to you. You're is, the chef. Is there anything we're gonna actually do with that leftover chicken? Eat it. Weird. Maybe put in a quesadilla or something with the cheese. What a quesadilla? A dang quesadilla? For breakfast? Oh. I guess I could leave it out. No, put it in my refrigerator. Don't leave it well, out. you know what I mean. I meant leave it out of the casserole. Oh, okay. This is clear, huh? Jeez. All right. Now, it doesn't say to do this, but, you know, I just want to do this. Make it all flat. Now it says to sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top. This just really doesn't instill me with confidence on the amount of cheese that this is. So I feel like I'm probably going to need to put some more cheese on here. How thick do you need it on top? I mean, it's cheese. Uh-huh. I need a good layer. See, look, I didn't even make it all the way across the dish. 
This is where we just get liberal with our cheese applications. See, look, that part, the person who gets that part, they're going to be sad. You know, you can technically cut it a different direction and we'll still get the same amount of cheese either way. Why are you trying to cock block the cheese? I'm not. I'm just trying to a lot like you are. explain how it works. Economically, you know, it goes on a budget. If you just cut vertical stripes instead of the horizontal stripes, we would all get the same amount of non-cheese and cheese. I mean... I get it. That's why there is no concern with that. Now I can cut free willy. I don't know about your economic situation, but, you know, I pay the light bill. I pay the, I pay the cable bill. And to pay the cheese bill. Do you? No, I just pay the cheese bill. Oh, okay. All right, so <laughs> this is it. It's now gonna go in the oven for, it's just like 30 minutes. Everything in here is really cooked, so we're really honestly just melting the cheese. It doesn't probably, it probably doesn't need 30 whole minutes, but we're gonna pop it in and we're gonna see what happens and then we'll be back after it comes out of the oven. All right. It's done. We actually left it in for 30 minutes. Um, it probably could have gone longer. The cheese didn't get like crispy, crunchy, you know, but it looks delicious. It smells delicious. We need to like cut into it and dish it up or something, right? Right. <laughs> Thanks for the input there, James. You know, you were actually asking me. I thought yeah, you were asking was. a YouTube crowd. The YouTube crowd can't respond to me because they're on YouTube. They're, they're not. Well, they're like not a rhetorical. Here. It's really hot. Is that to me again or are you talking to YouTube crowd? Oh my God. Just asking because I don't know the rules of this. Feel free to talk. Woo, cheesy. Someone wanted to put extra cheese. Well, extra cheese is always a good idea. <laughs> All right. I mean, it looks kind of sloppy on the plate, but <laughs> I'm telling you, it smells really freaking good. Are you going to try it for the camera? I am. Do we have any clean forks? We have a spoon in the fork drawer. Oh, here's a fork. It's really hot, though. I'm going to, like, burn myself trying to eat this. Ooh, ooh. Let's get a small piece. I don't know if you can see the steam in the camera, but... Okay, ready? Mmm. Oh, really good. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, make this. I'll, um, we'll link the recipe in the comments or whatever down there for you. You know, while you're down there clicking like and subscribe, I'll link the recipe for you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.